Oh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. Oh, I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defences? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Yeah, should be dry enough. I told you. Hurry up, I'm freezing. Ooh. Oh, come closer, dear. I'll keep you warm. What's the matter? Just use the Flintstones, Tom. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. Stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Should never have left. Well, we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining. Can you see the sun yet? No, but Martha... Don't distract me. I'm working.
Houses and sheds. Oh. Walls and roofs. Harder, Tom. Harder. Oh, I'd be glad. By God. I should be glad. Shoe. Beautiful. Alfred. What? Aren't you supposed to get water? I am not keen on eating rotten leaves tonight. Alfred! Right, I've had it with you. In times like these, we need to support each other, so be nice. Do as you're told. Yes, Mother. Here. Water for your turnips. Hooray! You can put it on the fire. And um, did you think about what I asked you? Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one 
big, long, but dark room, like a cave. <laughs> Now, we mustn't forget the doors, and not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. But isn't it still dark in there? It is. That's why we need some windows. So the people inside can see what they're doing. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that, and have so many windows. So, what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. It will give them hope. Like this? <laughs> Mama? The baby is coming. But it's not due. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. But look at all the blood. Children? Martha? Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. Let me do it. I'm quicker than her. No, let me do it. Alfred is faster. He has to do it. But I want to help too. Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. <laughs> Let me cover you. I put more wood on the fire. Can you feel the warmth? Yes. Right, what can I do to help? Stay with me. Will she die? She'll die, right? Remember when Martha was born and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said... That drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups, and she took us to her own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. But why are you talking about that now? She's bleeding. Oh, your hands are cold. I, I could warn them for you. No. Stay here. Please. <laughs> Alfred. Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. Thank you. 
I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? I know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. It's not long now. Be ready. I am proud of you. I feel so weak. You'll make it. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. To have a kind day. I'm sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. It's all right. The day was hard enough on everyone without me complaining. I know, but we will get through this. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? You make a fine midwife. Did you know that? Do you remember the night I came to you, in your lodge, when you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never, for one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. Papa. What's wrong with her face? Agnes! Agnes, wake up! Thank you.